In this video, you're going to find out all the amazing things you can find on board the Carnival Pride. From the two-story steakhouse to the unique layout, you'll love the ship. We are going to start with all the delicious food. Yeah. Then we're going to explore the amazing bars on board. Then we are going to highlight some of the onboard activities. Yep. And if you stick around, we also have a few tips that you won't want to miss out on. So stick around for those. If you want even more, we have a Carnival Pride Ship Guide digital download to give you a head start on cruise. Stick around, we'll tell you how you can get that. Let's start with the restaurants. Yeah, well, when you're talking about Carnival Pride restaurants, you gotta start with the steakhouse. David's Steakhouse is a two-story steakhouse. Specialty restaurant, costs a little extra, but it's a great place to get your ribeye, your surf and turf. A great specialty restaurant, a very unique layout with a two-story steakhouse on Carnival Pride. Check that out. Or for lunch, if you're craving burgers and fries, you can go to Guy's Burger Joint. Mm -hmm. I like to get a plain Jane and go to the toppings bar and make my own specialty burger. Yeah, you can customize it just the way you want it. They've also got fries and a menu of other burgers like the Ringer, which I love. Another great place to go to for breakfast and lunch is the Blue Iguana Cantina. You can have a breakfast burrito or a lunch burrito. Mm -hmm. They also have tacos. And they'll make them however you want, and they've got a salsa bar you can top it with. There's also, of course, the buffet, the Mermaid Grill Lido Restaurant. It's a great place to go. You can go there for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and they will serve up a great buffet food that you can choose from and have all that you want to eat. They also have, near the buffet, they have a chopsticks area. Uh, chopsticks is a stir-fry location, and they've got Carnival Deli. Carnival Deli will make your sandwich made to order just the way you want it. And you can go to the main dining room for, for dinner. Mm-hmm. Full service, great place to go, no extra charge. If you want to do something extra special for the kids, maybe consider spending a little extra money on the green eggs and ham breakfast. Great opportunity to spend time with a cat in the hat on a cruise ship. If you're craving sushi, you can go to Bonsai Sushi. Mm. I always like to get the California roll <laughs> and a dynamite roll. Mm -mm. Yeah, they've got great food there. Costs a little extra. But uh, great sushi and appetizers, it's a good place to check out. You can also check out the chef's table. It's cost a little bit extra, but it's really a great experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's also the Pizza Pirate. Now, this doesn't cost any extra, um, and they're open 24 hours. They'll make your pizza just the way you want it, made to order. And if you don't mind paying a little extra, you can have them deliver the pizza right to you. Those are just some of the food options on the Carnival Pride. If you like this kind of information, be sure to give us a, a thumbs up on, and hit the like button below. That's right. It really helps us out and we really appreciate it. Now let's talk about the bars, starting with the Red Frog Pub, an actual pub on a cruise ship with a full service bar, beer, cocktails, what have you, and live music in the evenings. Great place to hang out. And if you want to check out the craft drinks, you can go to the Alchemy Bar and have the mixologist make you a special drink. That's right. It's a great place to, to have an extra special cocktail. Um, there's also the Blue Blue Iguana Tequila Bar and the Red Frog Rum Bar next to the main pool. It's a great place to hang out and have a drink in the sun. If you're a sports fan, you might want to head over to the Skybox Sports Bar and watch, watch games on that big screen TV and have a great beer. If you're craving some piano music, you can go to the Ivory piano bar and listen to piano music and also sometimes sing along. Yeah. There's the Renaissance lobby bar also that's in the lobby of course and they usually have a lot of activities going on. Check your uh, fun times mm -hmm. and hub. Yeah the hub app or the fun times is a great, great place to find information about that. Uh, hub, the uh, lobby uh, bar rather is a great uh, center of activity especially in the evening. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for something more relaxed though Go to the Serenity uh, Adults Only area and uh, go there for the bar. They have a little bar there at the Serenity area. You can check that out too. So if these sound good to you and you're planning on visiting any of these on your cruise, check out the Carnival Pride Bar Guide video. It'll help you plan the ultimate bar crawl at sea. Uh, and we have it linked down below. Now let's get into the, the incredible activities on the ship. Mm. Starting with the dive-in movies, you can get popcorn and snuggle up with your with your spouse or okay or let's watch not, a movie. Okay, let's keep this PG here. <laughs> yeah, so great uh, feature feature movies out 
under the uh, the, the 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 starlight, the, the stars. Movies under the stars on mm -hmm. a cruise ship, a lot of fun. Uh, there's also the nightclub, the Beauties nightclub is a two-story nightclub with a very cool retro theme. If you feel like having uh, having some fun later at night, go and dance the night away at Beauties nightclub. Or if you want to sing some of your favorite rock songs, you can go to the karaoke mm -hmm. that they have at night. Yeah, that's that can be a lot of fun. Uh, if you'd rather not sing yourself, and you want to see some professionals sing and perform stage shows, go to one of the playlist production shows at the main theater. There's also, yeah, if you're feeling lucky, there's the casino. You can check that out. There's also bingo, of course. A couple of fun options if you're into that sort of thing. You can also check out the Punchliner Comedy Club. They have a comedian that... <laughs> Makes you laugh. <laughs> Hopefully they make you laugh. Now let's talk about some of the uh, activities that there are for the uh, the kids and, and the kids at heart. Uh huh. There's the Carnival Waterworks. Mm -hmm. That's a slide. <laughs> <laughs> See some slides and a lot of water activities. It's a lot of fun. Right. Yep. And if there's also going, you can play against your spouse or friend. You can go to the Warehouse Video Arcade. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Um, also, for the kids, there's Seuss at Sea. Seuss at Sea is a whole range of different activities centered around the the uh, work of Dr. Seuss. And you might see the cat in the hat there, too. Or if your kids would like a companion, you can go to a Build-A-Bear workshop. You can find out how the bears are made, and you can uh, bring a bear home for yeah. For you. <laughs> a custom custom design bear from exactly. your Exactly. The, the good folks at Build-A-Bear Workshop, they are at sea. And wow. if you're a little bit competitive, you can always do the mini, the mini golf. Mm -hmm. That's always fun. Yeah, because you usually win. <laughs> Miniature golf on a cruise ship. Hopefully mm -hmm. it's not too windy. Hopefully the ship's not rocking too much, but that does sound fun. There's also, of course, uh, pools. This ship actually doesn't have one pool or two pools. It has three pools. And... Um, uh, there's also the Serenity Adults Only Retreat. That's uh, the area we mentioned before that has the bar in it. That's a great spot to hang out and just enjoy the day. Get, you know, maybe a suntan. Or if you want to relax, and you can get, get a massage, a nice facial, get your beauty treatments on. <laughs> that sounds more your speed, but yeah, I, I think a lot of people appreciate that. There's also, of course, trivia, live music all over the ship, deck parties, and so much more. Uh, you know, like Joy said, check the Hub app or the uh, the fun times that they leave in your room each evening. Um, there's so much going on on board these ships. Yeah. How about a couple of Carnival Pride tips? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Um, let's start off by talking about a quieter activity. Um, for a quiet spot, head to the Crystal Card Room. The Crystal Card Room is you know, pretty far forward, towards the forward part of deck two. It's a great spot to just kind of enjoy, play a card game, and enjoy some quiet away from the crowd. Or you can visit the very unique Sunset Garden Interior Promenade. And that's also forward on the ship, but it's on deck three. Uh, a couple great spots to uh, go and hang out if you're looking for a little quiet time. Um, another tip is I'll give you my suggestions, or maybe our suggestions, I don't know if you agree 100%, <laughs> on um, our favorite places to go for each meal. Um, I recommend uh, Blue Iguana for breakfast. Get a breakfast burrito. Um, lunch, Guy's Burger Joint. You can't go wrong with Guy's Burger Joint. Carnival Pride is, also has David's Steakhouse. The Steakhouse we mentioned, that's two stories. It's a great place for uh, dinner, uh, if you don't mind paying a little extra. And any time during the day if you need a snack, Pizza Pirate, 24 hours. Yum. Can't go wrong there. And the best tip of all is you can get our exclusive Carnival Pride ship guide digital download. Click the link in the description below to get your guide now. Yeah, and if you want even more, then be sure to join us when we go live every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have more unique cruise guides videos coming. Yeah, more cruise guide videos are coming, so you want to be sure you subscribe. Subscribing is no cost to you, and it's the best way to help find our videos. Uh, without subscribing, you might lose track of us altogether. Um, subscribing helps you keep track of uh, what's going on and keeps you up to date on all the new cruise information. Thanks for joining the Cruise Day Fun!